Hey Hopscotchers, today I'm going to teach you how to make an interactive notebook with a cool background and different pages and a cool shape art. So let's get started. We're going to create our first text object, which will be the background drawer. So we're going to make it blank and we are going to add some code. So when the game starts, it will go to the corner of the screen and then draw an outline for the background. So it's going to set position to zero, zero. So we're going to go to the movement tab and go to set position block and type zero, zero. Now we're going to go to the drawing tab and we're going to do draw a trail. And you can pick whatever color you like. I picked blue. And let's just try 20 for the width, 50 for the width. Okay, so now we're going to do move forward by the width of the screen. Okay, now we're going to change Y by, which basically means going upwards by the height of the screen. But now we want it, so let's see how that looks. Okay, but now we want to do the other two ways. Let's make this 100 because I want it to be a little bit thicker. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back to the code. And now we're going to make it go the other direction. So we want it to make a negative number to make it go backwards. So we're gonna do zero minus the width of the screen. So we're gonna subtract zero minus the width of the screen. So it will do the same thing, but backwards. So now let's do the Y block, but this time we want it to go downwards. So let's get a change Y by block out. Okay, so now let's get a change Y by block. Zero minus the height of the screen. So it will be a negative number, so it goes down. Okay, let's see how our border looks. Okay, that's good. Now let's make a title for our notebook. I'm gonna get a text object, and I'm gonna call it CK Tennis Notebook. I'm gonna add some emojis, but you can call it whatever you like. I'm gonna add these pencil emojis. Okay, let's drag that, to, drag that to the top of the screen and see how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit thicker, so it's gonna repeat 20 times and create a clone. So all the clones on top of it make it look a little thicker, okay. Okay, it looks good, but not in the position I want it to be. We'll add a set position block later, but let's just adjust it for now. That will work for now, but it will look a little bit off-center when we add the text, but we'll fix that later. Okay, so let's add the actual content of our notebook. You can pick whatever you like. I just wanted to just make a little basic text. And so, hi, welcome to my notebook. you can write whatever you like and let's press check so let's add some code so when the game starts is we're gonna when game starts it's gonna go to center so we're gonna go to center custom rule okay so you see what I mean where the um, text looks a little bit off center for the header so let's go back into our code and let's go back in here and so it will let's get a set position block the X is going to be the width of the screen divided by two, so it'll be in the center. I accidentally wrote height in this example, but make sure you write width. I wrote height instead. Okay, so see, I that's where I made the mistake. So when the object is cloned though, because we have a bunch of clones, so we want the clones to be in the same position. Okay, that's way too off center than I realized that I put height instead of width, so. Let me change that real quick. Okay, that's better. All right, let's go back to our, to our code and add a new object that allows us to change the text of the pages. So we're gonna add this little arrow button to make sure so we can go to the next page. Let's go back into our text object. 
Now we're going to create a new variable. So when the little arrow is pressed, we're going to increase the variable called page number. It's a new variable that we'll make. And let's add the increase block. Increase page number by one. Okay, so now when page number equals one, it will change the text to a different text. So when the page number equals one, that means we're on the first page of the book. We're gonna set text block. And, it's, and you can write whatever you like. I'm just gonna write, I made this um, notebook. So I, I like to code, just wrote it. So we press that arrow, it says I like to code. Okay, that works. Now when it's the second page, so when page number equals two, we're going to change the text. I just decided to write, um, I made this notebook in hopscotch. You can write whatever you want. I just added some sample text in there. You can make this yours. You can change it up, anything you like. Okay, so when it's the third page, so when you tap the arrow three times, we're going to set the text. I just wrote, Hopscotch is an app for like the iPhone and the iPad. And you can add more pages if you want. For this example, I'm just gonna do these three pages. But the next one would be when page number equals four, then five, then six, etc. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, if we tap that, I like to code. I go to this notebook in hopscotch. Okay. Let's go back into our code and add a sheep art because this is looking kind of bland. I decided to go with a smiley face, but you can make whatever sheep art you like. I made some sheep art tutorials in the past, and you can go click over to those to make the sheep art. I'm just going to make a basic smiley emoji, so we're getting a circle for the head and a little upside down arch for the face. Smile, and so when the game starts on this arch, it's going to turn 180 degrees, so it's basically flipping horizontally. And it's going to set size to 50. So we're going to go back into our circle. I'm going to make it a little smiley emoji. I changed the color for circle. Okay, that looks very cute. Now let's add some eyes. We're going to drag out two circles. And we're going to add some code. So when the game starts, set size to 20 make it very small okay so I'm just gonna adjust these eyes a little bit because they're a little wonky okay that's good enough the last thing I'm gonna do is when you tap the screen a little smiley emoji follows your finger so let's go back into the code and create a new text object and I'm gonna make it a smiley emoji Okay, let's add some code. So when the iPad is tapped, we want it to go to the finger. Let's try that. But you can't drag the emoji. So we're gonna add a when object is pressed button instead of the when iPad is tapped. So it will just forever, you'll be able to drag it and it's nice and smooth. All right, let's, I'm just, the last thing I'm gonna do is just change the color of this arrow to match my background, and that's it. So we're gonna publish our project now. I just named it, see, my notebook. You can name it whatever you like. Anyway, happy coding, see you guys next time.